Mouse here, and I'm collaborating with Paradox Interactive to bring you tutorials for the new Park Life expansion. On my channel, I focus primarily on the Xbox version of City Skylines, and that's what you're seeing here. In this tutorial, we'll go over how to create your very own central park. With the release of Park Life, there are a ton of options for designing your own custom parks. When I'm starting a new project like this, I tend to look to real life for inspiration, and there's perhaps no better example to look to than New York City's own Central Park. It spans an absolutely massive 51 blocks, and although we won't be building to quite that scale here, I've carved out a large area in the middle of downtown to work with. For some perspective, this is the Central Park unique building available as part of the Green Cities DLC. And as you can see here, the space I've made available is much larger. So let's bulldoze that and have some fun customizing our own. For some of the basics of creating parks with a new expansion, be sure to check out my previous tutorials on the channel. Once you've decided on a place to build, and after you've defined a park area, it's time to place a main gate. For the purposes of this build, we'll be focusing on the city park objects, and in this case, using the large main gate. The main gate allows you to manage the area and define a ticket price to charge your citizens for accessing the park. We can add other side gates around the park where we want to provide access on foot, and for a park of this size, we're going to add 13 side gates. This is where the fun begins as we can really start to shape the space into our own custom park. Before we get too far along with this design though, there are two unique buildings I want to drop in. Borrowing from New York City for inspiration, in the southeastern corner of the park, I'm going to place the zoo unique building. Now you could make your own custom zoo using park life as well, but since I already have one of those built out, and since this will save us some space, we'll go the easier route. Next, on the eastern side of the park, but closer to the center, we can place the Modern Art Museum. Unique buildings have an entertainment value associated with them that will contribute to the entertainment of the park itself. As your park sees more visitors, and as you increase its entertainment value, it will level up and unlock different buildings and objects. We can connect the gates with a few different types of footpaths to allow the sims to get around. It may be tempting to just connect them in a straight line, but have some fun with it. The end result will be much more appealing. Along these paths, we can place some of the park life buildings to give citizens a reason to visit. Drop in a plaza, info booth, cafes, and more. Fill out the space however you see fit. That's part of the fun of park life. Make it unique and make it your own. But the ultimate test of Central Park is to get down there and see it from the ground. Does it flow well when you're walking around on foot? Does it offer a break from the cold concrete jungle surrounding it? Does it have a trampoline park? If the answer to any of those questions was yes, I'd say job well done. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and check back for more videos and tutorials from your favorite creators coming soon.